Hello, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here with Mark Sabato from Keir Group. Mark, we are standing here on the A417. It looks like a field and it looks like a lot of Cotswold stone here. Tell us uh, what is this road project and, and where are we right now? We're just at the enabling stages, aren't we? And it's all going to change here. And this is going to go down quite a lot, folks. Tell us about it, Mark. Absolutely, Peter. Well, we're here in the Cotswolds area of outstanding natural beauty, um, top of the old landmark that was the Air Balloon Pub. Uh, oh, it's right. just below us. Um, five and a half kilometres new dual carriageway. We've got about three and a half through greenfields um, and two kilometres on the existing network. Um, we're basically removing the big bottleneck here. Um, the, the, the issue is that it forms single track road at this location below us um, from the M5 to the M4 at Swindon. So we're making it one free flow all the way through from one end to the other. They call it, folks, the missing link, this project. And really, when you've driven up this, as I have in the past, coming to see the site last year, basically, you're crawling up this road when you've got big, heavy goods wagons. You're, you're, you've got a gradient currently at 10 percent. And that's going to change as well, isn't it? It is, Pete. We're making it 8 percent. So we're placing 350,000 cubes from here where we stood. We'll go down the hill. Um, we're winding the road out. So currently it's in a two lanes up, one lane down configuration with no central divide between the two lanes. We're making it three lanes up, two lanes down, centre concrete wall. So a lot of work down there. That's the tricky part of the job down there, working within the live traffic. The greenfield piece here, bread and butter, you know, um, this is where the action happens. And so we've already done a lot of the enabling works. We're now still at the enabling work stage. In fact, you know, you've got plateaus here right behind us. What are those plateaus actually going to be for? It's all set up, isn't it, for the, the main works? Where we stood currently, um, we end up at this point in around 16 metres of cut. We've got the A417 running through from here. Behind us where the hoarding is, the A4, where the Air Balloon pub used to be, the main line A417 comes up here. We've also got the A436, so if you're coming from Oxford, we form a new A436 that takes us to the new interchange that's behind us over there, and you have to come up to the interchange and back down to join the main road to get to the motorway network. And so when we've done that, folks, you know, we're, we're going to have a complete transformation of the way in which people can get around uh, on this road network. And so for National Highways, who's your main client, this is a really critical part of them actually opening up the ability for people to travel better, isn't it? The project is called The Missing Link. Uh, I think for years, you know, they did the Brockwood Bypass in the 90s, the Sirencester Bypass, late 90s, early 2000s. This bit was always in the two difficult box. There's been so many designs going through over the years. They've been talking about it for 30 years. So many different designs coming through on it. Uh, and this is the one we've settled on, we've, you know, and we're finally getting to construction. You've actually been doing a lot of work uh, with pre that. And so we've, we've had a scenario where you know, for big projects like this and in general, we're looking after the environmental impact first, aren't we? So we've had a lot of um, the environmental team come up here, taking adders and newts and things like that to new homes. We've also had a lot of archaeology uh, going on on site as well. Tell me a little bit about that and why that's important. You know, this the safety environment elements are always important, aren't they? For archaeology wise, you can see all these fields were stripped last year. We start, commenced last March for archaeology. We've had to 100 archaeologists on site all through last year and still going on this year. At the bottom of the hill down there, they're still doing the last knockings of this area. We cleared a load of trees out of here last weekend. So they're doing the last knockings of archeology. span But yeah, we've had up to 100 archeologists on site. The whole five and a half kilometers is now open for archeology. span We've still got about 60 on site at the moment. And because of the area where we are, it's Roman territory. Yeah, yeah, it you is. Know, yeah, yeah. Uh, Cyrus Sessa just down the road, yeah. Ro you know, Roman Empire of the UK. And a lot of significance in that, you know, and a lot of significant finds that they've been bringing up with them. So it's been a really big push for us. And likewise with the ecology, we're in the area of outstanding natural beauty. We've got a lot of natural grassland. We're in the National Trust Country Park as well we've got a lot of big stakeholders that we have to uh, liaise with as regards the scheme um, we've had a lot of um, adders roman snails um, the stuff we've had to we've had to form our critical path last year to move those off site rehome them in new locations to enable us to crack on the earthwork season this year 
and it's really important folks I'll be back here to see this project coming from this phase now to the huge muck shift and uh, you've engaged with Walters you know mm. a, a company I know very well a company that's done a lot of work on highways projects as well and they've invested heavily in, in new equipment that I've just seen a new set of, of, of compactors rollers coming mm. into the project but also you know they've worked with you at the enabling stage as well so you've moved the muck once and well uh, for those stages so that you can reinstate that and use that for the project that's really important that you have this early engagement with projects like this isn't it it is peter and what we did last year we decided the the best way forward for the archaeology was to engage with walters we have a big surplus of topsoil at the end of the scheme sometimes the archaeologists they might put two buckets of topsoil on a truck and then a bucket of subsoil will go on and, and it'll all get mixed up so before you know it you've got the potential to have a lot more surplus than what you need so we engaged with walters to come and strip the archaeology for us and, and it all formed part of, the, of the, the bigger picture, the bigger mass hall. So everything that was stripped, all the topsoil was stripped and the subsoil that was stripped has been placed now for what they, where they need it in the future works. And that's all about getting it right, folks, uh, on this site. And you know, for me, what's exciting is you have really moved forward as Kia as a digital first organisation. And so uh, lots and lots of um, analytics on the site that's going to be going on here. Lots of things, the uses of things like machine control, digital rehearsals and all this sort of integration that you've made with the supply chain, the full supply chain across the project that is uh, before it's even started. That is critical if we're to get things right in the future, isn't it, for projects like this? Absolutely right. You know, it's the future of the industry. You know, I know we've been digital, uh, you know, we've been using the, the, the GPSs for, for a few years now. Um, and, and and it is, you know, the way future, the, the future and the way forward. Um, National Highways had a, a raising the bar standard probably 10 years ago now. Um, no woodwork on site. You know, there's no setting out anymore. Everything's done off machine control. Um, and, and it is. It's 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 the way every, everyone is is adopting that standard now, and, and, that, and that's how it is. You know, and that's how it's got to be. And uh, what's interesting for me, of course, is it's not just all about diggers, folks. It's also about actually the, the layering of the project here in particular when you're going for, to those changing gradients and, and using the latest in sort of ground penetrating radar, the latest in survey equipment as well. For, you know, you've got uh, the team at Seven Partnership that are part of this project as well, aren't they? That's really important that, that you bring all of these people together, isn't it? We found that engaging with Seven Partnership as a... Uh, you know, to do the, the the ground penetration radar surveys. You know, they drove all this with the quad bike. Um, yeah. It's easier for them. <laughs> yeah. You know, gone are the days in these green fields of pushing the trolley around. To you know, it's great in a highway solution or a footpath. Yeah. You know, we're on a greenfield site here. You know, and they need to adapt their technology. And they came forward with the technology and the solution to do the GPRs on these fields. You know, yeah, look, it's a green field. What what's in here? We don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we, we've still got to do due diligence as part of our standards and we have to undertake ground penetration radar. So we've done that site wide through now. There's still areas that we haven't stripped topsoil off, uh, which we weren't allowed to last year. Um, there's still more areas of topsoil to come off and they'll be coming back and doing the same again this, this season. And that's brilliant because you're looking down underneath here, there could be a quite a big void down that we don't know about or whatever in different sections mm. because we don't know what's under the ground and that's the challenge with earthworks but if you can see how it, 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 it works and if you understand the material fill then you know where to put it and, all the, and place it so we're currently here at the start of the project it is a project the national highways and the team are actually looking at doing a lot of analysis on fleet usage on carbon and things like that it's a very environmentally focused and obviously we're in this area of natural beauty project and, and that's really key to the delivery how we do it well isn't it and so the environment but also keeping the road moving doing this off uh, the, the main body of the road and, and all that traffic management uh, that goes with it isn't it it is and, and you know we call it uh, a landscape led scheme you know right. the area we're in um, the landscape comes first and there's a real um, big emphasis in the end scheme for the landscape and it's an opportunity um, to return the land to how it used to be. Yep. Um, we've, we're planting, a, or we're going to be growing a lot of calcareous grass, which is native to the Cotswolds, which right. thrives in this limestone, in this oolite limestone that we have here. Yep. Um, we're planting, uh, look, 350,000 trees, I think wow. we're replanting, you know, and, and it's a chance to return the area to how it used to be. Yes, yep. we're taking farmland, but, you know, we are, we are putting it back to how it should be. 
And the, the Cotswolds Way as well is going to have a new structure that opens that up for people to come through uh, and, and walk safely and uh, wildlife paths as well. So this project is so exciting, folks. It's got everything that I love. It's got a safety first mentality. It's got the actual 3D machine control, but also the 3D vision, the underground vision, the surveying, the environment, all the new the latest equipment that we're going to see on this. And of course, after we've done the earthworks, folks, we actually have to build the road using more technology, more advanced different things. And Mark's going to be with me and the team uh, from Kia, as well as National Highways, and the likes of Walters to take me through this journey so I can take you through this journey. So look out, folks. We've got a very big road to build and a lot of content. Mark, it's fantastic. Thank Thanks so much for inviting me to follow this project. I'm really looking forward to it. Cheers.